Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. I'm Rob Cork. A new round of warnings tonight from state and local leaders. COVID numbers headed in the wrong direction. El Paso County, several of the key metrics are at the highest level they've been since the start of the pandemic. If you want to dig into the numbers yourself, head to the county health website. Pueblo County being put on notice by the state because of a spike in cases. They have reached their highest level since the pandemic as well. If it keeps up, the state could put Pueblo at safer at home level three on the COVID dial, meaning capacity at businesses could be scaled back to 25%. Some variances could go away. Rogers Elementary, Mitchell High School and Spring School District 11 switching to remote learning starting Wednesday due to presumed positive cases. Those who are in close contact to the people have been asked to quarantine for 14 days. In-person learning will resume at Mitchell November 2nd, Rogers November 3rd. Time for a weather check. Let's check in with Mike Daniels. Thank you, Rob. What a day today in Pueblo. Look at the low at 29, took it back to a high of 83. That's a 54 degree difference between the low and the high. It's almost like experiencing two different climates in the same day. In the springs, not quite as dramatic. It was a warm day, though. 74 the high, missing our all time record by just five degrees. Overnight tonight, temperatures pretty decent for this time of the year. Everybody at or above the freezing mark, 35 in the springs, 33 tonight in Pueblo for your Wednesday. It's really going to be nice mix of clouds and sunshine. No wind to speak of nice warm air around here and then we see some big changes roll in by Thursday into Friday. Here's what's going to happen. That cold air still up to the north of us until about mid afternoon on Thursday. Then it's going to sweep through here. It will be much colder by Friday. Your afternoon highs anywhere from 30 to 35 degrees colder than what we have on Thursday. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know sponsored by Power Credit Union.